This movie summarises a few of the smaller changes in the Proteus 8.1 release. In the layout module, you can now set a specific clearance around a pad. A common example would be to enlarge the clearance around a mounting hole. You can also now individually control the visibility of the seal screen preference and value text. The defaults for the board are still set from the technology menu, but you can hide or show on particular component footprints by editing the part. When working with Follow Me routing switched on, connections can be made to surface mount pads directly by via under SMT. The via style used is controlled by settings in the Design Rule Manager. The automatic annotator has been enhanced with options for both sides of the board as well as a graphical preview of the operation. Custom colour sets can now be defined via the Display Settings dialog. This allows you to configure several views of the board you are working on and allocate a keyboard shortcut that will allow for quick and easy swapping of these views during board placement and routing. The status bar will tell you when you swap colour sets and which view you are using. The pad stack dialog now includes a cross section preview of all the layers on the board, as well as sold resist and paste mask dimensions. This updates live according to both the types of pad stack and also the pad styles used on the given layer. Also, you can now flip the top and bottom layers of the pad stack to associate with component and solder side placement as long as this checkbox is ticked. In the Bill of Materials module, we've moved the ability to add fixtures and fittings directly into the property editor. Heat sinks, fuse holders, bolts and so on can now be added to their parent part and will appear in the bomb report. The same dialog form is then used to remove these parts. The Options tab can now be hidden too, giving a full window display of the bomb. Finally, the new project wizard allows you to directly adjust the layer stacks defined in the PCB template. You can add or remove inner layers as well as renaming them for the current project. During board layout, this simplifies the selection filter for operations like track placement.